Hi, and welcome to our third Podium Perspective. The subject of today's Podium Perspective is one of my favorites, which is the demise of ETL. So this topic, um, while at first may seem a little controversial, once you actually understand what Podium's customers are doing with the data marketplace, it'll seem fairly obvious why ETL is, in fact, on the demise. So to start with, let's talk about what today's traditional ETL process ends up looking like. So we call this the latest legacy. And this really is a typical extract, transform, and load process that we see at many of our customers. And frankly, that we have built ourselves over the last 10 or 15 years. And what you start with is the idea of an enterprise data warehouse that supports everybody, supports all your lines of businesses and all your users. And you build a process that feeds that warehouse. Well, over time, and sometimes shorter time than others, you see that some lines of businesses actually don't want um, to access that warehouse because it doesn't have the data they need, or it's too expensive, or it's too slow. Um, and they go on and build their own line of, data, uh, line of business specific data warehouse, or data marts. And you do end up with this data mart or data warehouse pl proliferation. And in order to do that, they're building their own ETL processes. And in some cases, believe it or not, their own ETL tool, which is different than other tools. It could be SQL based. It could be the traditional um, Informatica or the traditional data stage or ab initio. Um, and we do see this at customers. Multiple tools, multiple ETL processes, extremely expensive, um, extremely cumbersome to maintain. And again, you end up with a picture that looks like this. So to understand why this is on the demise, other than the obvious expense here, you also have to understand um, what the data marketplace is bringing to the consumers today. So a data marketplace that has been well-crafted, well-implemented, well-instituted is really providing consumers, the data consumers, really the ones that are driving the use of the data, um, lightning speed access to the data they need. This isn't necessarily query speed. This is a consumer needs data from a source, and within minutes, they have access to that in the marketplace. That is our definition of lightning speed. They are able to actually ask questions against data they didn't have access to before um, and get that very quickly. Um, what is key to this process is that the data, once it's brought onto the marketplace, has been validated and profiled, and it's ready to go. It's business-ready data. Um, and that is actually extremely key to the, the success of this process. So if you can imagine having a process that provides that data without traditional ETL tools, you start to understand why ETL is on the demise. And if they actually do need to prepare or transform that data, which in a lot of cases they do, they can actually do that directly in the marketplace itself. So they have access to the data. It's not transient. Those transforms or their, that data preparation is a self-service operation if they need to join it or aggregate it or do really any other level of transformation. And the beauty of the market, another beauty of the marketplace is the fact that the metadata, that profiling data, and the actual data itself coexists. It lives together. And it's always in sync and driven from their data governance, both from a security, business metadata, and technical metadata perspective. So all of this in a successful marketplace really leads to the, to the um, very quick demise we're seeing of, of traditional ETL. And ultimately, the picture looks like this. You have data producers on the left that are responsible for getting that data on board. And sometimes it's the same as the data consumers. They're actually one and the same. But they're able to bring complex mainframe data, um, XML data, flat file data, really any kind of source of data you can think of from an enterprise system, as well as third party data and um, data coming directly from devices onto the data um, uh, marketplace. And from a data lake management perspective, that is what we consider our sourcing. Um, once that data has been sourced and validated and profiled, all at the push of a button, mind you, um, the users are, and consumers are then discovering the data all on the same platform. 
They're preparing the data in a self-service way. And if needed, they're publishing that data out to some other um, external system. It could be a BI system, a BI tool, um, additional knowledge workers, or even algorithms, um, um, data mining models, and things like that. So this picture, as you can see, is a far simplified picture. And these data consumers are all able to leverage that data that has been sourced and provide um, their constituents with the data how they want it rather than the presumptuous model of an ETL system which loads into a, a data model that may or may not meet the requirements that the consumers need. So I'm hoping um, this resonates with you and uh, I appreciate you joining me for our third podium perspective and look forward to that fourth podium perspective. Thanks.